Let's get more on this now with Patricia Matthews. She's a professor of political science and migration and the vice chancellor of the University of Warsaw. Really good to have you with us, Professor. Firstly, some shocking revelations by Britain's most celebrated track athlete. Uh, apparently what we knew about him was, wasn't in fact reality and these revelations will be made clear in, in a BBC documentary that will be released later this week. Uh, what's your reaction to what we've heard and how common is child trafficking in countries like the UK? Uh, this is a very shocking information, uh, that's sure, but one of the examples of many uh, child tra uh, traffickers and, and um, human trafficking is a very hidden crime, but uh, very common, uh, sadly, uh, around the world, uh, mainly from the developing to developed countries, such as uh, UK. Uh, it, I would say it's a very brave statement. and. Um, it's, it, it's very interesting to listen to this uh, set, but at the end also a successful story because we, we talk about uh, a very important person for the uh, world sport and Olympics. Uh, that's right, and as he'll explain in the documentary, Mo Farah wasn't allowed to attend school for the first few years of his life. He then enrolled in a local school at the age of 12 where he met a teacher who, who he confided in and this teacher actually essentially rescued him from uh, his desperate situation and after that the rest we know is history because as you say he's now become one of the world's most celebrated athletes. But not everyone will be as lucky as he is. Not everyone who's trafficked will have that way out. So what do authorities need to do in order to clamp down on child trafficking and rescue those who are possibly right now in that desperate situation? Uh, yes, this is the positive side of the story. But, but as you said, not everyone is so lucky. And uh, we know that there are millions of people being trafficked uh, all over the world uh, every year. Uh, and from this story, uh, it is important to make people and the public aware about the uh, slavery and about the risks uh, involved in human trafficking and smuggling, of course. Uh, it is very important to be aware that somewhere around us that might be uh, people um, in this uh, very difficult situation, but it's not only about uh, being um, in uh, in the domestic um, sector, but also in construction and every kind of labor intense jobs where we still have to do with the uh, modern slavery and, and violation of, uh, of uh, basic human rights of those people. Yes. Now, in terms of uh, the modern slavery situation, does there need to be more cooperation, uh, I guess, between countries across the globe in order to tackle uh, this problem that, as you say, is still pervasive? Um, yes, this is the um, responsibility for, uh, of many institutions, but the international cooperation and also uh, discussion and campaigns about the human trafficking is very important. First of all, as I said, to make people aware, but also according to the Interpol, uh, the human trafficking um, is in practically all regions uh, all over the world. So it is very international uh, challenge for the authorities. But also, uh, as I would like to, to stress again, uh, it's also very important for every one of us to be aware and act uh, if we know that it might be a risk or it might be a person uh, somewhere um, under uh, in, in this very difficult uh, conditions or situation. Okay, Professor Patricia Matthews, we will have to leave it there. But thank you very much again for joining us on TRT World.